Hello everyone and welcome to another Red Valkyrie Presents. <laughs> what was that, Fashion? You're like, yeah, hi. <laughs> <laughs> he was ready. He excited. He was ready. <laughs> You told me to. You're like, hey. It's, it's, you know. You're passion. usually boring and lame. Be excited. That's what you said to me right I, before we got I did. Not, I said That's nothing of this. I said, said you were going to be cool, level-headed when I did the review. Damn you're, it, Passion. You're usually boring as oh, fuck. Yeah. Work yeah. on that. <laughs> yeah, we can flip off. Hurry up. Y'all are assholes. Uh, how you doing, Cy? Uh, awesome. Hey, how, how you doing, Passion? I'm doing great. I'm on this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. See, Notice how the double standard, because because I intentionally answered her in the least amount of energy possible <laughs> after oh, demanding. Gosh, I. You guys sound like I'm over here like cracking a whip and be like, if you do not or, like react the appropriate way, there will be beatings. Yes, <laughs> there will be beatings until morale improves. Yes. I got books to sell. I have to do these things. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Damn, passion. Oh, hurt. He's at your mercy. You know, what? you know what? Fuck it. We're doing the reveal because Hold on. I, I actually enjoyed this. What what are we holding on for? No, because you got to see passion's lack of reaction. Uh, okay, hold on. I can do this. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, okay. Are you good now? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Boom! Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy shit! Thank you, Passion. Yeah, that was, was that, a, that was that a, a that's an appropriate level. Yeah, so you, I feel, actually, I feel validated. Right. Now. Your it's dinner looked amazing. Awesome, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I I literally stared at um, the couple of pictures that you show on your campaign page, and I'm like, it's a coloring book the fuck am i gonna do and i was like well it was zombie yeah. i was like it's fine because you know frank has uh, frank lost his mind or whatever and i was like I'll, I'll look for that and i was like well this is too simple and i was like oh, i need an image i'm just gonna be me but a zombie and partially colored <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm in progress she it's just it's she creative. just did a racism thank you oh what uh. racism did i do <gasps> You didn't hear it? I'm not going to point it out. We'll get canceled. <laughs> no, you can, uh, you can I'll give me later. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Partially. <laughs> oh my gosh. You said it. Book. Everyone calm down. You said it. You said it. Creators <laughs> Outlet and Frog G. And... Yeah, we got, uh, got a couple people hanging out. Uh, what is up, Creators Outlet? How you doing? Well, Creators course, Outlet, a new member who we still don't have in our Yes, we do. We do? Yes, you, we do. You did it? Yes, I did. Ah, oh, that's amazing. Fuck you, bitch. Uh, we got Pops and Zant. What's up, Pops? And of course, we got Frog G. Uh, love Frog. So helpful. Posts all the links and then runs off to work and then still tunes in and posts links. Uh, which is... Yeah. <laughs> host of color. Wow. Host of, host of partial color. Partial color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah. you are now a hawk wow all right well we uh are here because passion, passion did a thing passion did a thing and, oh, i thought uh, i was just here to see your cosplay I was yep. that was it that's yeah, it that was the whole thing thanks for coming folks <laughs> uh no so passion has a new coloring book out, Coloring the Undead. <laughs> uh, I'm actually kind of, like, kind of really stoked for some of this. Like, I, I, <laughs> kind of really. Kind of really. No, like, I, I was going through and I was like, yeah, coloring book, I don't know that I'm really going to color a lot. And then I started going through and looking at it and I was like, mm, I might need this. I might I might need to, to grab this because, I mean, just the pencil case alone. Like the little pencil zipper pouch. Yes. That alone is amazing. That it's... makes me so happy. <laughs> now your passion for coloring. By the way. Got a passion, passion for, for coloring. coloring. Yeah. Coloring the undead. Very nice, Frog G. Very nice. <gasps> yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, it... thank you. Okay. We were just talking about your epic cosplay on Red Gaze. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. I don't know which one, but uh, thanks. 
Red I Gaze, or as I used to call him, the cousin. The cousin. Red Valkyrie, Red Gaze. Yeah. Uh, all right, so what exactly is Coloring the Undead? Because I know you've had an, a coloring book before. Yeah. Um, and now you've got this one. I believe you can get the first one as an add-on. Yes, you can. So okay. this one's, because uh, most coloring books are best when they're themed. Yes. And this one, this one's themed around uh, basically horror stuff, mostly mostly zombies, but there's some vampires in there and some werewolves and things like ghosts and things like that are in the book um, too, but not as much. We really focus on the zombie part of it. Yeah. Uh, so that's why coloring the undead. It's it's forty. It's gonna be forty two pages. I already. Uh, it's all done. Excuse me. I'm so excited over that cosplay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the book is done. So this is the proof. Oh wow! So everything's all. All I got to do is you know do some tweaks on the inside cover and then, you know, just hit shit. You know, order. Yeah. So that's all done. Um, and uh, you know, it's a pretty cool book. It's if you wanna if you wanna just color some fun horror stuff. I wanted to get it out by Halloween, but I had an illness over the summer. I you know, I was kinda out of commission for a few months. Yeah. But um we'll try to get it in probably hopefully February. So it's it's forty two pages of, of just fun horror art if you're into the horror genre, anything uh, like that. Uh, it's pretty cool, it's fun to do. And if you just like art. So, yeah. Yeah, everybody like points the butt. the butt out. Yeah, everybody I like points. the butt. <laughs> it's got butt. some nice cheeks. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, this is this looks really fun. Like it, it you know, I love. Um, I know that my mom loved to do coloring books and stuff to relax. And anytime we'd go camping or up to my grandma's cabin or anything, she'd always bring a whole bunch of like an in, an in, an obscene amount of coloring pencils. And then uh, four or five like mandala books, and I always hated them because it was like <laughs> mandala is just—it's boring. It's the same shit over and over and over and over again. So the fact that you're like, I'm doing a horror theme, you know, leaning heavily into zombies, coloring book, like this is this is up my alley. Plus, I mean, I get to color butt, and that's yeah. awesome. Yes, there's, <laughs> there's a so this book's more geared towards like adults, so like. Um, you know, like 14, 15 and up. I'd say it's yeah. like PG-13 or a, like a light R. It's it's more like Army of Darkness versus, you know, with a little bit of Evil Dead, if you're putting it with movies. It, there's mm -hmm. no there's no sexual, sexual stuff in it. There's no nudity. But there is a little bit of, you know... Um, Viscera. Curvy, curvy girls and stuff <gasps> like that in it. But it's, See, it's Shay, not, you can draw on your own nudity. Yeah. Nice. And there's blood and gut, there's guts and stuff in it and stuff. You can't do it. zombies without guts. So hell yeah. Um, so I knew I knew like because the theme was a little bit uh, a little bit hard. We had to do something for the kids, so that's where it came up with the uh, uh, Frank loses his mind. I love the uh, the logo. That was done it's by Sweens. Sweens. Yeah. Oh, Sweens is such a talented, talented person. This is this is such a perfect. I mean, it's it's, it's got green. Yeah. <laughs> it does oh, oh by the way, the cover the cover for the other book was done by Alan Alonzo, Holland Comics. He did the cover for that. He did the logo and the cover. It nice. was my idea. It was my layout, but he did the he did the. <laughs> I, really I love the love severed it. hand. <laughs> it's the severed yeah. hand and the eyeball. Yeah, I, I love uh, Alan's work. He's he's really, it's really good. And I need you. I need you to tell me that that little uh, adorable chipmunk with the acorn that that is not a happy tree friend because that no, 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 looks no, no, that was... like tell tell me that that doesn't look like a yeah we're coloring this cute little creature and I swear nothing bad will happen and it's like mm. Mm. no it's just it was just kind of a <laughs> kind of a tongue in cheek idea I had you know where. You know, coloring the undead. So I thought maybe you know your normal coloring book is you yeah. know, cutesy and kidsy, and this one is got this big sour hand. So I thought that would be. You know, I I really like it. I also love how you did like the little primary color rainbow for coloring. Mm -hmm. you're like, yes. Yeah. You're like yeah, it's it's just like a happy little coloring book with a lot of blood right. and guts and disgustingness. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it's supposed to be tongue in cheek like that. So that was. 
her name and everything. That's how I came up. Not, not sure I'm using that cup anytime soon. Just right. Just like, yeah. Oh. I think it was on um, Creator Outlet's thing. He was drinking coffee. When he, he's like, well, uh, no. I'm just going to put my cup down now. Yeah. Yeah. This is... So, yeah. Uh, so, we did the kids one, too, so that the kids would have something. And that's... I went I went with that one. I went to, like, it's a uh, Nickelodeon TV show. Uh-huh. So, it's in that age group. Uh, it's an activity book, too. So, there's a little story in it. Uh, Frank's on his way to work, and he realizes he misplaced his brain. So he needs his other monster friends to help him find it. So that's what the little story is. There'll be pages of color, and then there's little activities that go with the story. So like in the beginning, when he loses his brain, there's going to be a word search. He's like, hmm, you know, and you got to, you know, you don't have to find the words. <laughs> um, that that book's awesome. like halfway done. So uh, we'll get that uh, we'll get that out here by February, definitely. Very cool. Oh, gross, Chris. Oh. We're going to the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I also love uh, that you did this pencil case and that you did the yeah. stitching to match up with the yeah. zipper. Oh, it's real. It's, it's so real. fucking cool. It's made of like a burlap uh, kind of cloth that's printed on. Really nice print. Nice. I've been beating it up and throwing it around. So the company yeah. I found that makes these, they do really good work. You can't tell with this camera, but it's really green. <laughs> oh, I so, believe you. I so believe it's, you. It's, it's not neon green, but boy, it's pretty bright. But yeah, it's got the little stitches at the top. That's so good. Um, I think everybody will like that. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, I I have to get the pencil case no matter what, just because like, I, I just- Put your I makeup to... brushes in it. I don't yeah, like I I, stuff, I want like multiple ones because I want to just roll up someplace like I'm gonna go like on some major you know channel or whatever and they're gonna be like yeah Shay can't draw and I'll be like but I have and then just hold up the pencil case and be like I have this so beware everyone yeah that's uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's great yeah, you can uh, just order it just by itself you don't get the color pencils or just a bag and then there's also add-ons where you can add another one or two more. So oh, nice! For one and two more, so you could buy like you know, a bunch if you want. Yeah. Nice. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get mine and I'm gonna make it into a rectangular patch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no patches on this one. You're just gonna so you're gonna sew it onto your jacket, but you're gonna leave the zipper accessible. So really, you just sewed a new pocket on. Yes. <laughs> but it's gonna be a zombie passion for drawing. Uh, yeah. Pocket. Yes. Uh, you know that's a thing. You could do. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna use mine as an iPhone storage. Store- see, that's not a bad idea either. I didn't yeah, even see, think of that one. That's just great idea. so so much that you can do with it. Really, there's just, <laughs> like how could you go wrong? Yeah, like, you could put art supplies in it. You could put your change in it. You could put. You can use it as a purse. You could do lotto tickets yeah. in it. I mean. <sighs> yeah, send them all to me. Yeah. Not the scratched ones, though. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in in the in the times of uh, the flu season that we are yes. in, you can always just use it as this little storage pouch for all of your disposable masks. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I like how fashion was like. Mm, mm. You can't well, use it for that. This is the one I'm, thing. I'm not here to tell you what to do with it. <laughs> I'm I'm using it as my mask. <gasps> nice. All right. So uh, the deluxe edition, you're doing these really cool. Uh, color mortis. Color mortis. It's a uh, it's a shipping box. So like a lot of people are doing, oh. a lot of people are doing just throw some art on a box and ship it to you. But this one I actually I made it look like a book. Oh wow! So it's um, damn, you know, that looks really cool. So you can put this on your shelf. So you can store all your you know and on the back too. This is. Uh, my homage to um, the uh, Necronomicon. Yeah. But, uh, you know, so this will be shipped to you and it'll be, get a little beat up, get a nice, nice sturdy box. <coughs> Excuse me. A nice sturdy box. And you can just use these and put it up on your shelf when you're done. Oh, that's so cool. cool. So eventually I'd like to do a whole bunch of them, you know, stylized boxes for everybody. So. You'll get that in the deluxe editions. There's two deluxe editions. There's a regular one. We can talk about that later. But then there's oh. a family one too. 
So. You know what's kind of cool about that is I, I just see you doing a whole bunch of themed coloring books over the years and <laughs> having all of these boxes just so represent like you do something that's gonna be like puppies and kittens and it's gonna have like Lisa Frank style crap on it like just rainbows <laughs> yeah like I want to do a dinosaur book and that one I want to huh. do it where it's it looks like dinosaur skin you know it's gonna be leather bound you know oh, dinosaur cool. leather bound skin and then probably someone with stone on the front you know kind of like a Jurassic Park kind of looking thing, you know? Yeah. Oh, that is so really cool. Do. And then next one, like the next coloring book, if I, if this one does well, I'll do, uh, that's going to be Myths, Legends, and that one's going to be like two stone tablets that are kind of... <laughs> that's cool. Well, like bound together. Cool. So, yeah. So I got ideas for other ones. Oh, wow. Just got to just gotta get this one funded. Here's your that's Flintstone awesome. box. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then, of course, in the um, Family Deluxe set or as an add-on, you've got your initial coloring book. Yes. This is 100 pages. Oh, and wow. And this is all fantasy-based monsters. So your giants, your dragons, your elves, all that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, this one was pretty popular. I did pretty good with it. It was the first project I ever did in CG. So oh, wow. That's cool. So... Um, yeah, you can grab this one. It's, it comes in the Family Deluxe one, or you can get it as an add-on. That's really neat. <gasps> oh, it's a mimic! Um, it could be a mimic. It's more of a uh, gibbling mouther. Oh, 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 got you. I can't call it that, because that's a D&D thing. I, yeah, I... I... <laughs> that's what I it's heard, based I heard, on. I called uh, dabbling mouther is what I heard. Yeah, I call it Chaos Mouth or something. I think that's what I call it. But yeah, nice. you can use it as a mimic, too. There is a mimic in the book. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. These are these are cool. This is really fun. Yeah. All right. Uh, so We have a complaint from the chat. <sighs> the dinosaur book will not be made with real dinosaur skin. Because no. passion is a... Is a conscientious creator and he's not right. going to slay a, dr a dinosaur I almost said dragon dragon yeah don't slay a dragon <laughs> well dragons I mean, yeah. <laughs> just to point out anybody who buys a book in the first 60 days you get a free sketch card a uh, random zombie sketch card that I got here oh, look at these. I got a whole bunch uh, it's one per order so if you do any book order you'll get one of these Nice. So we got a whole bunch ready to go. Also, if you get one of the deluxe editions, you get, um, you know, in the first 60 days, you'll get a piece of original art from the book. Wow. Okay. So, so let's, a lot of art. Let's look over your um, tears. Kind of your tears. And so we can. <laughs> We can kind of see exactly what you're getting with these deluxe editions. Because you're, are you getting both the sketch card and. Yeah, if you get a deluxe edition, you get both. Oh, that's awesome. If you just get a book, let's say, you'll get the sketch card. Okay. All right, so your featured perk uh, is the one that, you know, I think a lot of people are probably going to go for. Yeah. What's everything that we get with the deluxe set? You get uh, the Color in the Undead, which is 42 pages. You get the kid's book, the... Uh, Frank loses his mind. That's going to be about 24 pages. You get a uh, pencil case and a full set of 12 colored pencils to get you nice. started. You will get two prints of the covers without the writing and stuff that you can color. You get the shipping box with it. And then you'll also get a uh, zombie sketch card and an original piece of art from the book. That's okay. awesome. If That's we awesome. run out some way... Which I don't see that happening, but if we do, I have extra art and extra things to put in. So, you and get all so that. And shipping is included with all this in the United States. So, the wow. price you see there, that includes shipping already. Wow. Damn, that is really, that's a really good deal. So, this is, uh, that's, you're getting a shit ton if you get it within the next 10 days. Yeah, you get a lot of art and stuff like that. My art goes for, I've been on the auctions, it doesn't go for a small amount of money. So, no, it does not. Um, so, you know, you could potentially get an extra hundred, two hundred dollars worth of value just out of um, just out of the book. And, and if you have a request for some art, if I have something, I'd be more than happy to, you know, like the from the book. If I have some like a zombie you want, 
if you're looking for, I probably have it. The sketch cards, eh, not so much, but the, if you're like, oh, do you have a zombie that's eating someone's face? I, I think I have one of those. <laughs> it's like, probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, so uh, if if for whatever reason you don't want the deluxe set, which I just, you should get the deluxe set, really. Yeah. But, uh, you've also got a couple more uh, affordable tiers for people, not that, that's the thing though, is like, okay, so you can get Frank Loses His Mind for $15, or you can get all of what you had just said for 60 Right. Like, just go for 60 I'm just saying. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> so you have other lower cost options, but there not more economical. Yes, no, not by a long shot. Like, that, yeah, that well, future tier is awesome. Yeah, you know, like getting both the books is cheaper than getting each book separately. So, I would t I would tell you to do that. But some people don't want the adult books. Some people don't want the kids books. So Fair. I wanted yeah. to give everybody that option to buy what they wanted to buy. Absolutely. So. All right. So we have Frank loses his mind for fifteen. Uh, or you can get the pencil case by itself with no colored pencils. Right. Also for fifteen. Or as I called it. What the fuck did I call it? God damn it! It was it was getting ready to roll off my tongue. Uh, Passion's pouch of peril. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Um, one issue of coloring the undead for eighteen. Oh, okay. So that's that's actually something that's uh, important to note is that if you're just getting the book by itself. There's no, stretch goals are not included. Right. The stretch goals are only with the deluxe sets only. If we even get that far. I front loaded uh -huh. this program, this uh, project a lot. So uh -huh. you're getting a lot of upfront. You're getting free art. You're getting all this extra stuff um, right off the bat. If we somehow get to 9,000 over the course, <laughs> uh, then we'll start doing the thing. Speedo out of that and use the same name. Okay. <laughs> the Passion Pouch of Peril. <laughs> Hey. That's what my wife calls it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, and scrolling. <laughs> so you get the two books. Yeah. And again, you'll get the. And if you order these now, you get the. Uh, you get the zombie sketch cards. Awesome. And you awesome, get that. Awesome. So with those. And we got the family pack. That's um. That's the really big one. That's got a lot of drawing in it. It's it's got. The Coloring the Undead book, it comes with two of the kids' books, the Frank Loses His Mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. <coughs> oh, man. Um, and it comes with uh, Miss Sars, Menagerie Monsters, and two cases, pencil cases. And um, two sets of two colored pencils. Two sets of colored pencils, then the shipping box, and then you get three prints. You get a print of every one of the covers so you can color it. Uh, separately, oh, cool. that you only get those in the deluxe. And with this one, you you get the extra art, you get the original art from one of the books, you get this, you get the zombie sketch card, and also one person who um, orders this over the sixty days, one person will be chosen to get the original cover art for uh, Myth Stars Menagerie Monsters, the original eleven by seventeen piece of art. Very for that. cool. So if you buy that, you have a chance of getting it. That's awesome. Uh, what is up, Lola? What is up, Ollie? Thanks for Lola. coming and hanging out. All right, and then you have First Risen. So what? what is this? Because you said that the book was done. This is, this is um, was the only thing that's not done in the main book, is, is um, this is the drawn-in tier. So if you want to be a zombie drawn into the book, there's one page that isn't done. Well, two. Uh, you can get put in there, so you'll get your name on the tombstone if you want, and then I'll draw you into the, the page. <laughs> so, that'll take me not even a day. So Very cool. Ollie says I'm here. Start over, please. Ollie, I'm just shaking my head in disgust. No. Well, once we get done with this, we got more to talk about. So. Yeah, there's, there's <clears> like, <throat> you're, you're here for, for part one, but there's other things that we're talking about. You think that we just brought passion on, and we're like, we're just going to do a 30-minute show, and then we're going to nope out. Like, Come on now. This isn't passion. lukewarm enthusiasm for drawing. This is passion, passion for, drawing. for drawing. Come on now. I don't have so much passion for cosplay, but I have passion. <laughs> it's 
it's okay. You know, I feel I feel like there was a uh, there was a like, really good reaction that I definitely <laughs> hope somebody clips. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, this is how excited people get for my cosplay, and then it'll just have a disclaimer at the bottom, be like, totally did not ask for him to be excited backstage. <laughs> Shay. <laughs> Since we're hitting our two-year anniversary, we should do, like, a highlight reel of the last year. I was just thinking that, actually. At, and throw our <laughs> passions into that. Passion's like, ah! I like, you can do it. Yes! Thank you, Passion! This is why we love Passion. He's awesome. All right, so uh, you can be a zombie or you can be a survivor. Yes. Nice. Now, this is basically get drawn in the book, too. You can be uh, one of the survivors, so you see all the zombies kind of jumping, and you don't know if you're going to survive. So we got Chainsaw Guy, we got Shotgun Guy, and we got uh, Machete Guy. Um, what I want to point out on both of these, because a lot of other drawn-in tiers, you usually have to get the drawn-in tier plus you got to buy the book. This one, you actually get a deluxe set included. Oh, that's awesome. <clears throat> so that means you get you get the sketch card, you get the original art with that included. Plus, you get yourself drawn into them. Um, the only thing I need is, um, you know, reference photos. That's all I need from you. Awesome. Yeah, money, money would help. My, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, the check has to clear and, you know, some Exactly. <laughs> Ollie said I had to rewind to see his reaction very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. See, and, the, and Chris says, the passion meter. Exactly. It's, Lit it's, fire it's all the way up. All the Just way up. Just constant fire. Uh, yeah, so there's only one of the survivor tiers left. Uh, well, there's only one left? Or no. Uh, there's two left. Two, sorry. There's two. 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 One two. taken. So there's only two left. And then there's uh, the five via zombies. So mm -hmm. if you want to get drawn in... Uh, you, you've got a chance, but I'm pretty sure uh, it's going to have to happen within the next 10 days, right? Yeah, we're on our first 30, so. Oh, so you're going to do another 30. Um, Yeah, I, I don't see why we wouldn't. We're yeah. eight, almost 80%. We're 80% almost funded. I mean, I know no coloring books, not for everybody. It's not a big CG thing, but. No, but the thing is, well, so here's here's the thing that kind of irks me about what you what you just said because I've had so many people asking about if I know of family friendly books or I know of all ages or I know of ways that people can get their kids kind of into this scene and into comics and and you know this is this is exactly that like there's literally a family pack where you get a cool badass coloring book and you can color along with your kids and you don't have to color like pound puppies. You get to color like cool shit and your kids can color cool like kid friendly shit and you can hang out together and have good family time. Like this is an awesome thing to be able to do on the weekend with your kids. This is, there, there's a lot of cool things that you can do. Or if you don't have kids and you're like me and you're just like, fuck it, I just sometimes want to color, leave me alone. And I totally, did not paint myself up like a coloring book just so I could have a little bit of that coloring uh, on myself, which I legit, like, I'm sitting here with Sai going, like, how much time do we have? I might want to do some more. And Sai's like, we don't got time for that. I'm like, oh, but I'm only partially colored. <laughs> we have to be live in eight minutes. <laughs> Shit. Well, then I guess this is what I've got colored. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and and I... I wholeheartedly agree with Lola, but the thing is, is, is you guys can't talk. Oh my gosh. That'd be funny. If the six, five, six crew, all, every, all five of them got drawn in and they were all the zombies. Ollie, you, you guys got Kryptonold's money. Come on. We make that happen. <laughs> That'd be amazing. I think but you the overestimate your power. <laughs> Unlimited power. <laughs> Uh, we're definitely having a "But I Love You" clip on the highlight reel from Ollie. That was a that was a that was a good. It wasn't Ollie. It was uh, it was Harry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're just you were just telling Ollie. So yeah. I can read. <laughs> anyway. So you're Why start now? <laughs> you're such a dick. Oh my gosh. Passion. Why do we hang out with Sai? I don't even know anymore. I don't know. Anymore. No. no, no. <laughs> 
I'm just like, I don't hang out with either one of you. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I'm sure. You, you think I, I like you bitches? A lot of the things. <laughs> So I just I just come on here to shill every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> Pass is cool. Uh, okay. Yeah, we go we go way back. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you laugh at that? That's actually true. I mean, I've known you get I've known both of you what three years now. Something, Something like that, that yeah. Because I'm in my fourth year and. Yeah, it's got to have been three. It's been four years. Yeah. I appeared in 2019, so. <laughs> That was a year before that. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's yeah, yeah, about right. Wow. Yeah. Time time really fucking flies, doesn't it? Uh okay, so this is amazing and super awesome, and you guys should definitely get in on this while you can. But you also had something else that we were gonna talk a little bit about. Yeah, uh, there's a sign up list too, so like if coloring books aren't your thing, I have a comic book that's gonna come out. Well it's not a comic book, it's a magazine right after. Do you have the link for the uh, sign-up page? I'm sure. I'm sure Frog G will drop it. I'm sure Frog you G will. Can you can. I know Frog G can, has it. Yeah, I was gonna say you can uh, also uh, drop it in private to us, and I'll uh, I'll put it. Let me see. So everybody can have it. We all need it. Everybody needs it. Got you, fam. Sweet. And private chat. And paste. And send. That should do it. Perfect. Right. So this is called uh, Tales of Nova Terra. This is a... If you are a big fan of the old Savage Sword of Conans or... Any of those old epic comics that were black and white, uh, they're in magazine format, they were large. Uh, this is the thing for you. This uh, It's going to kind of be an expansion of uh, Doom Fate, my comic Doom Fate. But you won't, you won't have to have read that book. This is going to be, it could either be a good jumping off point for you, or you can, it will expand upon Doom Fate if you've already read it. Um, so these have characters from Doom Fate. We have four artists doing sequentials, and oh, I wow. think they're the best line workers in CG right now. We got Joe Ball. Nice. Uh, doodle Bags. I intentionally opened this in a slideshow, and now it won't fucking advance. One second. Sounds like a you problem. Yeah. It's goddamn 21st century computers. Uh, but we got we got Doodle Bags, Alan Alonzo, How Comics, and. Uh, uh, Preston Acevedo. Wow. The four guys are doing four stories that I wrote. I wrote all four of them. Their they're backgrounds, their backstories of characters that are already in Doom Fate. So again, you don't have to. Have, it doesn't continue Doom Fate. It's just... But if you're just... You're not into Doom Fate. You just want some cool, kick-ass um, fantasy stories. These will... These will... Uh, <laughs> sign up for this. Uh... That's awesome. Yeah, you'll you'll be able to get those, and it it doesn't stop there. So we're having four stories, and then there's going to be four traditional stories. All right, so that's that's Preston Acevedo's page. That looks awesome. He's that's doing a cool. he's doing a uh, story called um, "Seize the the Moment." Uh, this one's called uh, "Opportunity." This is about Galen. If you read uh, Doom Fate, it's the guy with the bald head and the long gray beard. This is when he's a younger man. And how he becomes the head of the guardsmen, which are kind of like the knights slash samurai of the barbarians. I kind of recognize the area. Yeah. Is that yeah. Alonzo's? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's Alan Alonzo. Yeah. Okay. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, they all look great. This is uh, Doodle Bags. Yeah, that's very uh, very Doodle Bags. <laughs> that's that's Doodle Bags. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yeah. So he's not uh, even kind of surprised. <laughs> This is about Armus. He's kind of my Conan uh, thing. This is when he's younger too. It's one of his first adventures. Um, and he's <laughs> She's just, one of his first adventures. <laughs> yes, actually I, yes. I, so not, this one's I, called "Despite no. Your Face." <laughs> it's called "What Your Face." Despite your face. Oh, okay. You know, you know the saying: "Cut your nose despite your face." Yep. Wow. Okay. Uh, I thought you were saying "Despite your face." Yeah. Well, despite your face, yeah. 
Is it two spite or despite? Despite. Oh, damn. I why well, put it despite? <laughs> now, now we're all gonna sit here and debate it. <laughs> like, it's despite, despite your face. Um, and then uh, this one is uh, called the front. This is by uh, Joe Ball drew this one. It's about a character called Helios. If you know, we see him in the comics. This is his kind of flashback story. So imagine. The front is a place, imagine like in Lord of the Rings where they go to the Black Gate to go fight Sauron. Imagine that whole war goes on for a thousand years. I like how Sai so just keeps zooming in and you just, yeah, yeah, there's just more, more, more gets clear. Yeah. The more... <laughs> I, I think there's I like see the atomic numbers. structure of these fighters. <laughs> you see the arrows going down. If you look really close, there's catapults and monsters and yeah, it gets pretty crazy. God, shit, those are, that's an army. I just thought it was texture. No. <laughs> Damn it, Joe Ball. Joe Ball doesn't know what texture is. That's like he doesn't need like texture. Right it's a big giant fight right there, yeah. He just puts too much, stuff. he puts so much detail in it that it just naturally looks like there's texture. And you're like, oh, that's nice rain. And then you look closer and you're like, those are people with swords. Those are, those are hundreds of people with swords. What the fuck? You should see the other pages, but I can't show them because the stories are so short. Yeah. So like like Joseph is um, Joseph seven, Doodles is six, um, Allen's is seven, and um, Preston's is eight. Okay. So like I can only really show one page because then it'll, it'll ruin the story. If if we were doing like thirty some pages, forty you pages, show a couple, yeah. I could show a couple, but I wanted to. I kind of picked out. Well, they're all really good. Every page is, I have to say, every one of these artists killed it. I, you know, they're all friends of mine and mm -hmm. um, they, I've been working on this for a year and they have done a fantastic so. job, every single one of them. Um, and it's way above and beyond I thought it would ever go. And it's good, this book's gonna be in black and white because that's why I picked these guys. I think they do some yeah. of the best line work. They can handle black and white. You don't have yeah. to color it. There's no you reason. know, if you end up doing another one, you know another artist yeah. that would be cool to, to bring in on the arsenal? Krager. Jason Krager. Yeah, well, with, you know, like, these guys have already agreed to come back for another oh. issue. Yeah, 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 absolutely. The idea behind it was like those old books because like John Basima used to be on there. Uh-huh. You know, which Doodlebags is my John Basima. I mean, he's as close as you're going to get in CG to Basima. And then um, you got, uh, you know, Joe is my is my Barry Windsor Smith. And, mm -hmm. You know, and Alan Alonzo is my, you know, basic. Uh, there's a couple other guys we could do, but like Art Adams kind of feel. I picked yeah. all these guys. These guys were all my first choice. I asked them. They all stepped up. That's they had so a good cool. time doing it. They did this in their off time. This was not taken away from the main projects, you know. So you know what's it would so cool. Like looking at Doodlebag's uh, work is he he does such a good job of making everything pretty, but still like like the guy's pretty, but he's still you know looks strong like a dude chiseled jaw and everything but he's he just has a pretty face <laughs> i'm just yeah. saying i don't know if i could do it in a room that had this as there's, a there's a lot of vipers hanging around like that literal viper's Man, nest i can't i can't talk about the story but <laughs> oh. you'll have to get you'll have to get the book with of will launch in february but it's it doesn't stop there so what we're doing with the magazine it's not going to be a bunch of articles and stuff. It's all straight entertainment. It's going okay. to be all entertainment. So there'll be four more stories that are traditional stories. Okay. Um, those where you actually sit and read them. There'll be illustrations for each story done by uh, Sim Sim Poitier. Mm. He's going to be um, he's going to be doing an image for each one. And those four stories, each one's going to be written same world, kind of flesh out, totally separate stories written by one of them's written by um, Phil Diaz. Then Mark okay. Middleton, who did Grave Robbers with me, okay. um, uh, Edwin the Ace, and um, Eddie Winkler. They're all doing uh, separate stories, a couple pages each. Very you just cool. read like an old fantasy magazine they used to have in the day, where, where they got the old Conan stories originally. So he used to write them for a fantasy magazine, and then they put them into books. Um, That's awesome. This Real is by, quick. You know, uh, Maverick Valor Studios, thank you for the five dollars. He says, "You guys, these guys you pick were given the hands of 
of a god, I mean, wow. Yeah. Well, sign I also up like for the, the page. Material. Don't miss out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you sign up to, you'll get a uh, tr special trading card, exclusive trading card. I can't say who the artist is yet. But, I but can you say trade. who the artist is? No. Oh, okay. uh, but uh, Good try. I think I think you'll be happy. With them. <laughs> I mean, the the thing is, I know. It's not me. <laughs> I know your standard, what you expect when you do art or if you hire somebody for art, um, because you've you know you've got a reputation. You do a lot of amazing sketch cards for a lot of campaigns. You do a lot of amazing pinups and things like that. You're not going to bring on somebody who you feel is going to be... If you're going to pay somebody, they, they're going to have to be somebody that you're like, this is the exact right style, and there's somebody that can, at a minimum, hang with me. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I'll admit some of these guys, like, made my... Like, I, I, they drew way better than I would have. I mean, it's it just... It just it just depends I, I, on the I, feel for each story, you know. Every everyone's yeah, got a different I, style, and finding that right feel is what really makes or breaks it. And I assigned each person each story on purpose. So, like, yep. I want to continue to bring these guys back and have them do more stories. Like Joe wants to do more characters with Helios, which I have a couple more stories for him, so he'll do that. I did doodle bags. I want him to keep doing Armist stories. I got tons of Armist stories he could do, because, mm -hmm. like I said, he's like my Busima. Busima just drew. Conan all the time. I would love him yeah. to keep doing that. These guys all do like mostly superhero work, and they love fantasy stuff, and they're really, really good at it. They just don't get the opportunity to draw it as much. So um, that's why I picked these guys. And each story was crafted like I knew Preston would draw kick-ass orcs because his story's all about orcs. Right. And I'm like that, that dude's gonna just go crazy. Yeah, Pres Preston and orcs go together yeah. really well. And he's got, like, I have a specific kind of look for these characters and for the orcs and stuff. And he did a really good job of um, capturing as close as, um, you know, his version of, of the orcs. But I want these well, guys to do their thing. It's cool because it, it's it definitely, like, you can definitely see Preston's style coming out with the orcs. But they, it still feels really like something you'd see in, like, 40K. Or, yeah. you know, some, some kind of... Uh, He's kind of my heavy metal guy. You know, yeah, like and well, he's in the heavy metal. So I used to do a lot of D and D. Uh, um, not not D and D. Um, Warhammer. W. Uh, yeah, the the forty k. There we go. <laughs> um, it was a long time ago, obviously. <laughs> but I used to I used to do Nerd. like I had Eldar and stuff like that, and I finally was looking into getting into Greenskins. Like I wanted a Greenskins army because they're fucking hilarious and. They, they legitimately believe so much that drawing a stripe on their shit makes them faster. And and it does. <laughs> As a result of their just sheer belief that it will. I'd just um, like to draw attention to the fact that passion, wh while you were warming up for all of that, just slipped in a little. Nerd. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Please. It, it, We're all nerds here. It's here. I was going to say, if you, if you haven't found out, how many episodes have we done now, Sai? <laughs> Like 253 yeah if you haven't found out by now that i'm a nerd you ain't been watching <laughs> now creators outlet is is dropping some info here in the chat wait yeah. till you hear about the there's, back of the book yeah there's not we're not quite done with so like i said the four stories you'll get yeah. traditional stories yeah from those four great writers and it's some illustrations then in the back of the book too, we're going to be doing a Dungeons and Dragons adventure. Yes. Plug it. It's like a one night thing, and it actually leads in. It actually, if you read Doom Fate, it actually leads off of that. But you can plug it into any adventure. It's where the orcs, these orcs, attack the town, town, and uh, you're. That's actually what the adventure is. You're a bunch of adventurers fending them off. In the town. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. So, so it's a little one-off module. That's cool. A one-off module, and then there'll be stats for some monsters that appear uh, in this magazine, and also uh, there'll be a couple templates um, yes. for... There'll be templates for the Valerians, and there'll be a template for the orcs. So if you want to make those characters, you can you can do that. Because the Valerians and the Valerian orcs are completely different than any other kind of orc. So that is so cool. I, I love that you're doing... A very different take on like an anthology because I've since I'm looking at trying to do like a dark anthology I was trying to look at 
ones that have come before me and how they handle them, and I am very much underwhelmed by the vast majority of them. Um, usually they're shoddy stories that don't really make sense. They don't really connect together very well as far as a theme or anything like that. And it all, it just feels super disjointed and, you know, you get varying levels of skill in telling them because it's a bunch of different people. And instead you're like, all right, I wrote the stories. So it's going to have that kind of consistent storytelling all the yeah. way through. Yeah, but it's I gonna handpicked be... the artist, so each one feels like its own thing. Oh, you mean this part? No, I'm meaning like all oh, the whole yeah. the whole book to, all together, and then the fact that you're like, and I'm going to throw in all this other, you right. know, fantasy shit that I know that I yeah. would like and other people would like. In yeah, the this genre. is your this is your fantasy place to go. It's going to cover all that nerd stuff with fantasy. Yes. Most people who are into fantasy stuff are into D and D, and they are into reading yeah. stories, fantasy stories, and novels and stuff. Right. It usually encompasses that's a whole genre. I want to cover the genre as much as possible. And give everybody because the old Conans too used to actually have stories in them that you would read. So we're also going to put in a uh, fun letters page. We're going to put in some fake advertisements that are going to be fun, tongue in cheek stuff. Yes. Um, you know, um, and we're going to have some pinups and stuff. For other artists, again, I can't, I can't say who yet because I want to save that. Um, sure. And uh, I think everybody will be happy with those. And so. I'm going to try to make this book as cheap as possible. Um, there's going to pretty much be three tiers at all. There's going to be, I take the book, I throw it in an envelope, and I send it to you. That's uh -huh. going to be the cheapest one. There'll be a collector's one where we'll have stretch goals, and you'll have all that nice stuff, and it'll be bag and boarded. And we'll nice and ship it to you. And then there'll be the one where you can get the Doom Fake comic with it, and you can get, you know, the magazine. So you have both if you've never read. You don't have to have read Doom Fate. You don't have to have done it. This will just be a straight thing. Or, like I said, I hope you come back when Doom Fate 2 go comes and you right. buy both those books. Hopefully, you'll come back to get more things. So, I'm building a world here and a mm -hmm. whole IP and everything around it. And anywhere awesome. people can jump in, I hope they can all jump in and, and read all of it and have a good time. It's all going to link together. It's all going to be together. I've really thought it out. That's um, really cool. This is this is awesome, and it's nice to see somebody branching out and kind of taking a, a different kind of risk. Yeah, well, it is a risk. Yeah, it'll get a lot of money, <laughs> and artists aren't cheap. But no, luckily, it being in black and white, it's going to keep costs down. I'm not doing that for cheap measures, but because it, I want the book to be black and white. Right. But I pick artists that can do black and white really, really well. Exactly. So um, that I did that on purpose. A lot of black and white books, it's like, oh, I wish they were colored. Mm -hmm. But this one is like, it's on purpose. I'm, they're taking extra time to do extra line work for everybody so that a colorist doesn't have to do it. So yeah. um, it's going to be awesome. I, I, th I think everybody's going to really like, if you're into comics or into fantasy stuff, this is pretty cool. Um, and then right after that, I'm doing Doom Fate. So I'm hoping to launch this in February. The coloring book, um, probably, I'll probably start shipping it in January if we get funded. So yeah. th that'll be right after first year. I gotta wait. This st the postage is going through the roof. Yeah, postage is uh, is a super bitch until January. So anybody who <laughs> has a campaign that you're thinking of fulfilling in the next couple of months might not be a bad idea to hold off. Just, just cut off the UK, Canada, and Australia, and your shipping rates will be amazing. <laughs> no, the shipping rates even in the US went up. Well, yeah, on October 3rd, the seasonal ones kicked in, too. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm going to try to avoid that, but they might, they might, you know the government, they'll just keep the seasonal rates. They, yeah, they could keep them. It could end up they still will. being... Like, they will. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this book's going to be pretty amazing. It's going to be magazine size, so it's not going to be a normal floppy kind of thing. It's awesome. going to be on, uh, you know, thin-ish paper, but still good quality. Mm -hmm. The cover is going to be it's going to be like an old school magazine. I want That's people, awesome. I want people to sit on the shitter, roll the cover back, and read this right away. This is what I want. <laughs> I want them to beat it up. I want to put it in their pocket. I want them to walk around with it like I did when I was a kid. Right, now they'll be you can collect it and, and everything. Yeah, you can collect it and take a hold, buy an extra copy, but I want people to really enjoy this book, read it multiple times, have fun with it, bring it to their D&D &D games, all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. So. Oh, that's awesome. Pure that is so cool. 
It should be about 40 pages. Somewhere that's, in there. That sounds, that sounds fucking badass, man. That's, yeah, that's really which, cool. That's really I'm exciting. trying to get it under $20 shipped. We'll see. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm trying to. You know, just for the book. I'm trying yeah. to. So we'll see how it goes. Well, shit, that's awesome. So if you guys haven't signed up, please make sure uh, Frog G just posted the link again. Tales of Novaterra, sign up for the pre-launch page. Um, going live early next year and yes. uh, definitely something worth getting. And don't forget the reason that we started this, Coloring the Undead, uh, 10 days left in the first 30. This is a uh, this is a really cool passion's really kind of pushing the limit on what can what can be done within this group because so many people are so focused on telling their epic odyssey like tales that are going to go on for however many issues and stuff and we forget that there's things like one off comics that can happen we forget that there's things like coloring books especially if you want to try practicing traditional coloring for you know, somebody who is, in a, is a phenomenal artist already, you want to go over passions lines and try traditional colors and see how that works out. Or you want to scan them in and so you can do digital colors. This is a great resource for you to get so you can practice and you can start to really see what works and what doesn't. There's family packs so you can do it with your kids. There's, uh, or, you know, shit, I don't know, do you babysit, you run a daycare or something? Oh, um, you thank you so much for hanging out with us. And he Thanks, says, uh, get your coloring on. I agree. Shay called this. She knew you'd hop off. I knew it. He always hops off, though. But, but yeah. see, it's just because I know Froggy's schedule at this He's point. He's a busy man. He's a busy man. He is. <gasps> oh, my God. Damn, me. <laughs> it's just brutal. You know, people are out of the retire home for an hour. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I think you owe me an apology for that, Ace, like you said earlier. And probably a sketch card, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I have, his, I have uh, his sketch here that he has coming to him. I may or may not send it. I don't know. Yet. Oh, <laughs> damn. That's what you get, Ace. <laughs> I think what Passion is saying is he's about to go in the bathroom and make your sketch. Mm -hmm. It's going to be all brown. Oh, God. Ooh, I don't know if I'll go that far. But, yeah, it... <laughs> Silence. Yeah, it's going to be cool, man. I, I wish, yeah, I hope people, we can get this funded and do something a little different. Yeah. I know there's a lot of books and stuff out right now, but uh, please uh, support it. The really fall cool. is so thick. Yeah, like everybody wants to launch in fall and it's so, it's so funny to me because I'm like, dude, I'm trying to like, like launch whatever I do earlier so it would get into people by Halloween, but. Get into them. Get into Whoa. them, like just insert. Whoa. Yes. in it it's and as, the shows. second 30 days on this I'll be adding a tier so you can come back we be adding a tier where nice. you can get a uh, sketch card of yourself as a zombie so I'll zombify you so ah. that'll, be, that'll be an extra tier Shay we can add it to all your zombie themed shit from back when you were when I was Shay Shay zombie yes <laughs> you're not Shay well, zombie anymore I haven't been Shay zombie for like Two and a half years. Oh, no. <laughs> Two years, something like that. No, she simplified. Now, you're Shay, yeah. now she's Shay. The red. The red. The primary color. <laughs> I had I had to because people keep on calling me. They kept on thinking that I was Red Valkyrie by myself, but they like it. It didn't help. They still think I'm Red Valkyrie. Yeah, they do. And they're like, with with your co-host, you're so nice to let on his side. And I'm like, yeah, yep. literally started this because of side, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh dude this is this is fucking awesome i love seeing everything that you got going on and uh i really i want to see all of the things that you're doing succeed because they're so unique <laughs> i'm trying and, yeah I, I think you're i think you're doing good shit and i think that think uh, a lot of people you know they just they just need to see it it's like it's I know that there's a lot of books out there, but you can't cry for stuff like this. And then when somebody gives it to you, not support it. Like, I mean, people, people 
people aren't crying. It's just uh, it's hard. No, I don't I've have literally... a big I don't have a big uh, channel or I'm not a big reach because I'm I'm a working artist. I, yeah. If I'm not I'm I'm literally working on stuff right now. It, um, I'm always busy on it, and it, there's no way like for me to make money money. There's yeah. no way I could be doing a YouTube channel every day and do all that content. And it's like right. no work would get done. I wouldn't be able to do these cool projects. So exactly. I, I appreciate what I always ask of everybody. If you like my work or you support my work, please share it. Please get it on shows. Please muscle your way. Because, again, there's shows I don't get on. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, uh, I, can't, I can't get on those shows. So, so please share it. Do whatever. And I really, I appreciate that. And that lets us, that I want to do different things. Yeah. I want to expand what we're doing here. Um, superhero comics are great. There's nothing wrong with those. But uh, we want to, we need to expand out. And um, I'm trying to do that. Yeah. Uh, but I need everybody's help. I can't do it by myself. Very so, true. Very so true. I really appreciate that. I mean, this is, when I say people are crying for it, I mean, I'm literally hearing people talk about how there's not enough family stuff in CG, there's not enough different things, or what if I don't like superheroes, and all I can say is, that's, you know, watch Red Valkyrie, we try to find these kinds of things that are different and unique, because I keep hearing people want these sorts of things, this, this is the channel to come and see that, yep. and you get to see people like Passion, who are just fucking killing it, and doing amazing shit. Speak with your views with us and your wallets with them. Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, Passion, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us, man. I know that you're always super busy, but this was, yeah. this was really cool. I appreciate it. It's always a pleasure to be here. And, you know, I'm always excited, as you can tell, to be on your show. <laughs> it's very. <laughs> yes. You, well, thank, I, you for, thank you for dressing up. That's really nice of you. I, you know, it, only you. I don't do this for anybody else. <laughs> That's not true. I've seen the show. <laughs> any excuse to dress up. Uh, literally every single Red Valkyrie presents, yep. One more time for the audience. <laughs> Let me just say that that shirt is amazing. You guys will never see it in the amazing light that I saw it in, but it's that, yeah. It's it's an extra small and sheer. <laughs> so I always have <laughs> Awkward. Uh, I'm just well, I'm just celebrating the fact that, that on yeah, it's that amazing. note, you fucking perv. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you all so much for joining us. If you are in the chat, please, please, please share this. Oh, there's out. banner. Oh, look at that! It's about <laughs> time. The very end of the fucking show. It's horrible. <laughs> Uh, share out Passion's Coloring Book. Share share out um, Tales Even of Terra. Yes, yeah. buy it, back it. Um, <laughs> show your friends, show your family, show your mom, show anyone who might enjoy coloring. I might have to get actually a coloring book for my mom. I feel like my mom would enjoy coloring a really uh, macabre kind of. Get the family pack. Book. If you're into yeah. horror stuff and the monsters oh. and stuff, it's good for that too. Get the family pack. Give one to Kiba. And give one to Hugan and just put a little crayon in his little, little birdie hand. That's not it. Birdie hand. <laughs> so, so much pain. Shut up. Uh, so mean. Like I was saying before Sai just went off the deep end. Please back this project. Please share it out. Make sure it gets the eyes that it deserves. Uh, and help support Passion because he does a lot of really fucking badass stuff for us. And... Uh, he, he's not going to be able to keep doing it if we don't get support. So, thank you so much, Passion, for hanging out with us. Thank you, no Sai, for setting everything up. And we will see you guys next time. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.